All right, today we are going to be disassembling an MSI GL62M gaming laptop. And for this, we're gonna need a small Phillips head bit. This is a 2.5. So first things first, we're gonna flip it over and remove all of these screws along the bottom case. All right, once you get those bottom case screws out, uh, just finish up with the last one here under the factory seal. And just keep in mind that if you're still under warranty, the factory seal, once that's punctured, will void your warranty. So now all we have to do is find the seam between the bottom case and the palm rest and just work that around. The laptop hasn't been popped open ever. Um, you might have to work around kind of slow to remove the little retainers, little snap-in retainers. Um, but this one seems to be coming off pretty easy. And on the port side of the laptop, with the you know the audio ports and the USB and HDMI, um, you're not going to want to lift the case from that side because the motherboard ports are poking through. So we're gonna go ahead and lift from the other side. And then we're gonna move the case this way to clear those ports. And that way you can remove the bottom case without pulling up on the motherboard. All right, so we'll go ahead and remove this memory. Actually, it's always good to use a anti-static wristband before you start touching any of the internals or at least ground yourself. Okay, so we'll go ahead and remove the memory stick. And this little cover here, I guess it's some sort of heat sink. All right, so that one looks like it's a smaller uh, Phillips head, so some of these might be smaller than the 2.5. I just went down to a 2.0. So as long as you have a couple small Phillips head screwdrivers, then you should be able to remove most of the components in this laptop. And then for the SSD, we're going to kind of wiggle it up. It's attached to the motherboard with a adhesive uh, thermal pad. So once you wiggle that up and separate it from the pad and just pull it straight out. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and remove the battery. Looks like just one screw and you can pull it free. All right, now we can go ahead and remove the hard drive. So we'll get those two in screws and also the SATA board. I'll just kind of pop it up and pull it free. And then the SATA board will just uh, separate from the hard drive after you've removed it. All right, now we can go ahead and remove the Wi-Fi card. So just unstick that tape and pop those antennas off by just pulling straight up. And then once you remove the screw, just pull it straight out.
All right, looks like we're good to remove the fan and heat sink. So we'll go ahead and clear these cables that are kind of partially retained by the fan. So once you peel back the tape, um, this type of retainer, you can just flip up with your fingernail. And then pull that display cable out. And we'll also need to uh, release the connectors for the fans. So on either side of the connector, there's some little tabs and you use those to wiggle that connector free. All right, now we can remove these screws. All right, now that we've removed the 12 screws for the fan and heat sink, we can um, go ahead and remove the heat sink assembly. So just make double sure you've disconnected the fans and sometimes the heat sink can be held on pretty tightly with the thermal paste. So you might need to just work your way around the heat sink and do a little bit of wiggling. And once you get it loose, you can remove it. So now we can uh, go ahead and remove the remaining ribbons that are connected to the motherboard. So for the pram battery, we're going to leave that put, just move it out of the way so we can remove the speaker wire. So a lot of these connectors you just flip up on the little retainer and then you can pull the ribbon out. And it's always best to shut them afterwards so they have less chance of breaking while the laptop is out or the motherboard is out of the laptop. Looks like a DC jack, you can just pull straight out. Then we can pull that DC jack out as soon as we're ready to separate the display assembly. You have to undo the hinge and flip it up out of the way to remove that jack. And it looks like the in-out board is connected to the motherboard on the bottom side. So for now, we'll just remove the ribbon from the in-out board first. And we can just go ahead and remove it. All right, so it looks like we have most, if not all the ribbons disconnected and now we can remove the screws. So with the motherboard, there's going to be a connection on the bottom side uh, for the 
uh, touchpad and keyboard. So we're gonna lift up really slowly on this motherboard and just see what kind of attachments there are on the bottom side. All right, so it looks like just one for the keyboard and one for the touchpad. And this type of connector, um, there we go. You're just gonna pull the brown part down toward the ribbon. And then you can remove the ribbon and then we'll just push those back into place. That's how you remove the motherboard. All right, so we're almost ready to separate the display from the palm rests, but first we need to remove the little clutch cover here. And it can be a little bit trying, um, but if you work your way around it, it should come off, no problem. It's just got a lot of little retainers all the way through. There we go. All right, now we're ready to remove the hinge screws. And once you have those removed, you can swivel up that hinge and we can remove the DC jack. All right, so we'll just check and make sure that we have all the ribbons and cables from the display. Um, out of any kind of retainers so that we can just freely remove the palm rest from the display. All right, so for the keyboard, it is riveted into the palm rest itself, so it is not, uh, not replaceable. And then with the touchpad, it's stuck on with adhesive to the bottom of the palm rest and the touchpad area. So you'll need a heat gun to remove it. Um, but the speakers, if you need to remove those, they're just held on by little rubber grommets. So that is it for the palm rest assembly. All right, so for this particular model, um, the display bezel is just gonna be separated from the back cover and it's pretty easy to do on these MSIs. So just grab that little inner portion and then just follow it around. And the bottom part of the bezel is gonna be held on also with some adhesive. So you can either just try to work it with your fingers or use some kind of tool to get in there because a lot of times these are um, the adhesive is held on to the bottom of the LCD screen so you don't want to pull too hard and you want to try to kind of separate it as you're going along I can see partially here, there's kind of a nice glue strip on the bottom.
right, so as you can kind of see, it's just a long adhesive strip that kind of makes it a pain to remove the bottom part, but once you have that worked off, then you have easy access to the inside of the display. So for the screen, um, there's just four screws and a video cable connection behind that. You usually just have to peel the tape down and then you can pull that out. And you can see there's a few screws for the hinges and rails and the uh, webcam cable just goes along the outside. So it's really easy to work on. Um, in this case, we're gonna keep it complete um, but if you need to, uh, if you need to get in there to replace any components, that's how you open it. All right, so that is how you disassemble an MSI GL62M gaming laptop. And if this video helped you or you found it informative, please like and subscribe. Thank you.